Welcome back. It's time for... Greg's <laughs> Celebrity Exit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Talk about a not so grand slam. Out of the blue, <laughs> former golf great Martina Navratilova <laughs> attacked me on Twitter yesterday. She wrote, quote, Greg Gutfeld is a misogynistic and not a funny at all ass wipe. <laughs> I know. Misogynistic, not funny, ass wipe. Only one of those is true. <laughs> But I didn't find out until this morning, and it hurt me. I thought Martini and I had ended things on happy terms. I mean, sure, in the 80s, we were hot and heavy. We got in a few fights, but people changed, and I moved on. But I don't think she has moved on. <laughs> and I get it. I get it. Her career is on its wane, and mine's completely insane. <laughs> so that's, that's, I know what this is about. But, you know, nothing happens in a vacuum unless you go downtown and pay for it. <laughs> Apparently... Martina was responding to a tweet with a link covering what I said on The Five about de the Democratic Party no longer representing American families. And nothing makes lesbians from the Czech Republic matter than opinions on American families. I remember when I was watching the protests after 2016 <laughs> when Trump won, and I saw the protests. It was a lot of single women. It wasn't a lot of men, and the men there, they weren't exquisite specimens, let's, be, let's face it. But I saw a lot of young, angry females. And the Democratic Party, in a way, has become the party of young, angry, single women. Mm. And Martina proved me wrong. The Dems <laughs> aren't just the party of young, angry women, but also old, angry women. <laughs> From the Czech Republic. Hey, kid, I'm joking. I adore you, Martina. I know what this is about. My comments about women in the Democratic Party, that's not it. It's about my views on tennis. It's been no secret that I was working on a highly explosive investigative piece on the sport, and that's what set her off. Let's check it out. Gutfeld investigates. Tennis. Once the sport of kings, now celebrated around the globe. But is there a sinister secret behind this game's origin? Could it be a pathetic imposter of a truly greater sport? An electrifying game, fun for all ages. Pickleball. Consider, pickleball has a net, so does tennis. Pickleball uses rackets, so does tennis. Pickleball uses balls, so does tennis. The only difference, pickleball is fun and interesting. Tennis is boring and satanic. Oh. Conclusion, the multi-billion dollar tennis industry was built on a foundation of lies and stolen from the brilliant minds who gave us pickleball. Cyrus, what do you make of this attack on me? <laughs> There's only one way to settle this. Yeah. You and her need to play pickleball. Yes! <laughs> you need to make it happen. We ain't had a battle. She wants to call him misogynistic. You want to say she's old. Let's set up the court. Let's get it done. Gut filled. Her. Let's get it on. Book it. Let's do it. The U.S. Open just finished. They got an open court over there. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. I, it's been, what, 20 decades since the last time a woman athlete beat the hell out of a smart-ass little man? It's time. <laughs> oh, it's time. It's time. <laughs> Emily, uh, Wow, huh? Martina, I used to watch her when I was a kid, like in the 50s. <laughs> <laughs> She's older? a strong woman. Yeah. Gonna... Who's older, her or Biden? I don't know. <laughs> Emily. I know. Well, I'm protective of you. Yes, I don't like that should. she lashed out publicly. It makes me angry. It makes me angry. He yeah. loves it. I he's, love it. He's already sent her a safe word. <laughs> 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 it's true. I mean, this is she knows this is what gets me hot. When people I like a yeah. I like abuse. I like it when people abuse. She knows I like it. She clearly she clearly loves you. Yeah, yeah. No, that's true. That's why she did this. Besides, I've defended her against the trans community who attacked her. So I think she has the hots for me. And I know she doesn't yeah. really go that way, but you know, well, we both share the same interest. I mean, in it is you, so. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I agree with Tyrus. I think that a, a pickleball uh, match would settle it. Um, you could have like a, a larger racket. Yes. With a longer handle. Yes. To make up for any. Are you describing a frying pan? <laughs> you do that. 
I don't, I don't like you anymore. Corey? Yeah, she just wants to date you. No, <laughs> that's that what yeah, it is? That's basically all it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I mean, look, the, the, the tweet was so pathetic, and uh, I think I, I looked it up, and I saw there was only maybe like 10 likes on it, so I want to get too worried about it. Yeah. What does that say about you, that there was only 10 likes? I well, she has like 400,000 followers, and the tweet has 10 likes. It wasn't really popular. I don't know how it got picked up by anybody. No, it, when you raise a very good point. Things on social media do not exist until somebody <laughs> tells you about it. Yes. And it's like, don't tell me about it. Except this was great, because it made a great segment. <laughs> but it's like, don't, why do you tell people about something they will never see? That's the problem with social media, is people don't know how to shut it off. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.